All right, the fastest way to take a losing campaign and put it into the winner's pile is by literally just picking it up and putting it in there. And now let me explain. Okay, I'm your sales and marketing guy. My name is Brandon Northwick. I run Northwick's Consulting. And the benchmarks that you're using to identify whether or not your marketing and sales system is put together properly, is it as effective as it should be? Those benchmarks are gonna dictate what decisions you and your team make. So let me explain real quick, because a lot of the time, prospects and clients, they'll come and they'll say, you know what, this isn't working, or I don't feel like I should be getting this uh, you know, type of result. It should be better. And we always wanna go to industry standards, what the benchmarks are, and then how are we comparing ourselves to the best of the best, as well as comparing apples to apples. So let's go ahead and take a look at the two different comparisons that I wanna share with you today. You'll see that on the top, this is for meetings. This is for inbound meetings. This is for folks that, like myself, sell professional services. We sell uh, things that require a personal touch. We've gotta get on the phone. We've gotta talk to people, present, demo, things like that. So when you look at the very top, notice that the benchmarks are different throughout the entire process. So if you are not running any lead generation right now and you're running directly to the registration page, these numbers are still going to be very close, if not exactly where we need them to be. So over six years now, and more than you know, uh, half a million dollars invested into advertising, as well as getting more than a 7X return on these promotions and campaigns that I've done for me and my clients, these are the numbers. These are the benchmarks that we've seen across the board. Now, a lot of the time you don't see companies talking about these benchmarks because they don't want their clients to know the industry standard. If they reveal that the industry standard is X and they're below X, all of a sudden they're not valuable. So we have to make sure that you as a business owner, you as a marketer, you as somebody who's going to promote your business, what are the standards? What can you measure success by? So if you look at the left box on the top, we're focusing again on inbound calls that are or scheduled meetings that are gonna be done by you or your team. If we look at the lead generation, we're looking at 20% average, 33% for the above average, and 50% if you're a superstar. Right now, that's how we measure our success. If a client comes to us and we're generating leads and the landing page is converting at less than 33%, that is a dud for us. We're not trying to be less than above average. We're not trying to be average and share with our clients that that's good enough, never. The second stage is gonna be your registration page. The reason why we have a registration page and we don't take them directly to a booking is because you wanna have the ability for people just to say, hey, look, give me a call back. I don't have any of the extra time. I don't know my schedule. I don't really trust you right now. Just let me see what your process is. Can you call back? Can you deliver value without pushing me into a sale? So this is very important. We wanna have this registration page. You should be converting of those leads 15%. We see between eight and 15%, always. Now the industry standard is 5%. If you can get 5% of your leads to register for a call with you, by golly, that's amazing for you. But that's just not the way it is for us. So you wanna measure your standards, whatever it is. Maybe you wanna be in the average category. That's okay. Whatever it is that sets you up for success, you wanna make sure you're measuring it though based on those guidelines, right? Because if you're seeing that, oh my goodness, my landing page is uh, you know, 33% or 40% and my registration page is at like 10%, but I just, I can't get anybody to schedule a call. Well, here's your metrics for that. You should be seeing about half the people that are registering for a call to schedule their own call, right? No requirement for you to reach back out. No requirement for your sales process or sales team to do their job because it just comes down to them following through. Now, if you're seeing 65%, you're in the above average category. If you're seeing 80%, man, you are a superstar. So measure your booking page conversion rates from those that have registered for a call after they have opted in for your lead magnet. These numbers, if they are not below the above average standard, then you have nothing to worry about. We have to work on other areas of your business growth, whether it be the back end sales profit, the offers, the margins, whatever it may be. Now let's go down to the e-com side. If you're selling product, uh, anything like that, then you wanna make sure that you're following this guideline. And if you're not selling, or if you're not offering the lead generation up front, then you're gonna to wanna to still have the sales page that's converting at one to 3%, three to 5%, five to 
Now, if it's cold traffic, the five to 8% is really, really hard. That is really difficult. Usually you see the five to 8% purchasing right out of the gate when it comes to a remarketed audience. Some people that have either been prior customers uh, or you might get away with some lookalike audiences. But when you look at the process, notice that if you need to align your current setup with what we see on the board. Are you reaching the benchmarks? Is your system set up to hit these benchmarks? And do you know what lever to pull if they're not? Because you're in control of all of this. As a business owner, as a marketer, you are in full control over the landing page conversion, the registration page conversion, the booking page conversion, the sales page and the order form, whatever it is that you're in. You are in control of that. So if you're not seeing the metrics hit, then you've got to know, where am I missing? What am I? What do I need to do differently? And if you are above these percentages, then you need to be celebrating. Stop trying to step over pennies or step over dollars to pick up pennies. Right. And what I mean is a lot of the times clients will go, well, I just want this a little bit better. OK, well, we could focus a whole bunch of time and energy on trying to get something that really will only impact bottom line or top line by half a percent, less than half a percent. Right. And when you're not dealing with millions of dollars, that half a percent is really negligible when you could go after the five and six and eight percent increases. So keep your mind on the percentages, understand the benchmarks and align yourself with how you can progress through knowing that you're not going to be disappointed if you know exactly what you're shooting for. All right. So if you have any questions about this, you're not hitting your benchmarks or you just want to get together with a new company that is going to serve and treat you right. Go ahead and find the link of the button around this video. Schedule a call with one of my either myself or one of my team, and we'll go ahead and get you set up with an entire breakdown of what we would do in the first 21 days of you becoming a client. So you're clear on exactly how the system would work and the predictable results we are promising. So hope you found some value in today and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.